Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create the BS fashion show look from this year's fashion show. I'm super excited to show you guys how to do this look. I feel like it's super different from anything that they've ever done. If you're used to watching these fashion shows and just the Victoria's Secret angels in general, they're so glam. I wouldn't say they wear a lot of makeup, but I do say they're very glam, if that makes sense. They wear a lot of highlighter, they wear a lot of lip gloss. They're beautiful with this look. I think that the big bouncy hair and just the glam makeup is gorgeous. And basically their look this year, the main focus of it was the wing, if you noticed. And I noticed a lot of them did have the wing. It's a very simple black wing and they did have glowy skin and stuff and obviously they had on a very natural lip color, but they also weren't wearing extensions at all. So they all had their natural hair in. And if you look at some of these theories online, the show basically was revolved around inner beauty, feeling sexy from the inside. You don't need a lot of makeup to feel sexy and you don't need hair extensions or a lot of glam to really feel that way. So they've never done something like that before and I think that's what makes this year so unique. And you can definitely tell they were going for something like that by seeing all of these these photos that were leaked. They're just all very natural and very true to themselves. What they did this year was so different than any other year. And you can look at past pictures, full on glam, and then now just very natural, very minimal. It really doesn't even look like they're wearing makeup at all, except for that wing. So I think that's gorgeous and I really wanted to incorporate that in my look. I did take it a little bit of a step further. I normally don't wear a lot of creams or a lot of liquid highlighters, but I did include a lot, a lot of cream products in this look because I feel like they're super natural and they're very Victoria's Secret. But I stayed true to the no hair extensions and also just mascara, no fake lashes. And I did the, obviously the black wing, which I think is gorgeous and I love it. So if you guys like this look, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, share this video with any friends that love the VS Angels, that watch the fashion show, or that just love Victoria's Secret in general. And if you guys wanna know how to get my look, then please keep on watching. So I'm first starting this look out with my YSL Touche Clot Foundation. This is beautiful. I do notice the angels don't really wear a lot of foundation or a lot of face makeup really at all, especially this year. I feel like their look is really, really toned down. So you could totally skip foundation altogether, but because I wanted to go a little bit more glam, I am going to apply it and this foundation is absolutely beautiful. And I'm just blending this into my skin using a beauty blender because this will give you really flawless coverage and make it look a little bit more natural than using a brush. And if you are suffering from a pimple like I currently am, I'm using the NYX Color Correcting Concealer. I'm taking the green and kind of dabbing it onto my pimple because my pimple is a lot darker darker than the rest of my skin at this point. And you just wanna dab that in, but don't blend out too, too much. And then going over with the concealer that matches your skin, you can cover it right up. And you kinda just wanna blend the edges away. Okay, so for concealer, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in Very Fair. And this is a very dewy concealer that I feel would be something that the angels might wear. I don't think they wear a lot of concealer, but because I wanted this look to be a little bit more glam, I am going to apply it like I normally do. Like I said, this is very dewy. It's not going to look super matte at all. If you just blend it out with a beauty blender, it gives you a really nice natural look. So I really did feel like the look this year was so minimal and I really didn't see a lot of bronze, but because I feel like that's almost their trademark look, I'm still gonna do that and I'm gonna be using a cream contour kit today. This is by Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is in medium. And I think that a lot of the times they do wear a lot of creams because it's so seamless and there really isn't a trace of powder on their skin, if at all. To make the colors a little bit more creamy, I'm gonna take this Anastasia Hydrating Oil and just take a drop of this into the contour kit. I'm first gonna be picking up this shade here, so I just put a little drop in there. And I'm just gonna go along my hairline first and kind of bring this onto the cheek area. And this is a bit orangey, but this is gonna be our transition into a more bronze color. So now that you have that on, you're gonna to want to blend that in using a beauty blender. And now I'm gonna dip into this shade called Cinnamon and I'm gonna kind of contour a little bit with this. This is a little bit warmer and darker than the color we just used. And I'm just gonna kind of drag this along the points that I want to look thinner and more bronze. And you can also take this on your jaw like this to kind of cut your jaw and a little bit down the neck just to kind of blend everything. And just to thin out my nose, I'm gonna go in with that contouring shade 
and just drag this along the sides of my nose and just blend out using a beauty blender. Now for highlight, I do notice they're very highlighted a lot of the times they have a nice glow going on. So I'm going to use these Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in Moonlight. And these are so beautiful. I'm just going to take a drop on the back of my hand first. And I'm just dabbing this into the Beauty Blender and then I'm just going to apply it using the Beauty Blender. And I'm just dabbing this into the tops of the cheekbones and I'm kind of bringing it up into a C shape around my eye. I'm also going to take some onto the nose. And these drops, they look really wet, but they're actually dry. They just look super, super wet. It's kind of like a wet skin look. So now I'm gonna use this Tarte Cream Blush Palette, and this is so beautiful. It's called Kiss and Blush Cream Cheek Lip Palette. This could be used for lips or it can be used for cheeks, but I'm gonna use it for cheeks today, and I'm actually going to take, I might take a combination of these two shades right here. There is a pink and also a nude. I'm kind of gonna mix them together to create the color that I want. And I'm just gonna lightly dab that into my cheeks. I noticed that every year they've worn a really pink blush. This year they didn't, but like I said, I feel like it's kind of like their trademark look, so I'm still going to include it. I did see a lot online, and apparently this year they wanted to go a little bit more natural. No hair extensions, not a lot of makeup, a very natural wing, like everything is super natural, so nothing is gonna look overly done on them this year. I'm just lightly taking my Tardis Pro Glow Palette and I'm taking the shade Lit, and I'm just kind of dabbing over where I highlighted just to intensify it a little bit more and just to kind of set it a little bit. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do before you move forward, I think that you should definitely set if you're oily because this is an all cream look, you're really gonna to wanna to set. So I'm gonna use this really light shade in my Tarte Contour Kit and just set right underneath my eyes just so nothing creases and this will just mattify this area in the center of my face because I do get a little bit oily. I have combination skin, so I'm prone to getting pretty oily, so I have to set. If you don't have to set, you could totally skip this step altogether. So for brows, I'm gonna go in with the brow powder because it's a little bit more natural than using a pomade. And from what I noticed, they really didn't have a whole lot of brow going on for the show. They were really just kind of embracing their natural beauty. And if you do look online, there's a lot of articles and conspiracy theories about the show, about how they really want a very natural look just to embrace your inner beauty. And really, you really don't have to wear pounds of makeup and wigs and hair extensions and a lot of makeup really to be sexy. So that's kind of what they were going for for this show. I was reading about it and it's actually super interesting and I'm gonna try to incorporate that in this look today. Just keep it pretty natural and just enhance everything. So I'm just basically filling in the sparse areas that are kind of very noticeable. And other than that, I'm just going to probably set this with a brow gel and call it a day. All right, so now I'm just gonna set them using a brow gel. And this one is by Anastasia in the shade Chocolate. All right, so now that we've got our face done and our brows done, let's move on to the eye look. All right, so to start this look out, you're gonna wanna prime your lids and you could use a concealer, a foundation, or an eyeshadow primer to prime. And I never skip priming because this really makes the eyeshadows stand out and it also makes them last all day long. So do not skip this step. So next we're gonna jump into some eyeshadow and I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. And I'm first picking up this shade called Burnt Orange. It's a beautiful transition. It's very neutral and warm and this will really help define our eyes. Next I'm gonna go into Antique Bronze. This is a very plummy brown. And I'm just kind of cutting into my crease with this. This is just gonna define our eyes so they don't get lost in this look. Because this is a really light eye look, you really wanna make sure your eyes are defined as much as possible. Just use light shades to define them. So next I'm taking the concealer and applying this to my lid and this will ensure that our lid color will pop up very pigmented and bright and I'm using Primavera from the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. It's a beautiful gold. I just feel like it really reminds me of the shades that the Victoria's Secret models wear. It's just a very neutral muted gold with a bit of shimmer. It's absolutely gorgeous. And next I'm taking this Tarte liner and I'm just going to create the wing. They all had a wing on. Some was thicker than others. I feel like some of the models 
models had a pretty thick wing and then some of them had a much thinner wing. So I'm gonna go kind of medium. I did go a little bit larger than what I had anticipated, but that's okay because I do like a larger wing on myself. You can go as small or as little as you want, but they had about a medium size most of the models. I next applied the inner corner highlight and I'm using Vermeer which is a beautiful silvery pink color and I feel like this is very a Victoria's Secret. It's gorgeous and I just packed that onto the brow bone and also the inner corner. I did want to line with a nude liner so I used the Tarte inner rim liner. Most of them did have a nude liner in their waterline so I went ahead and did that. And then I applied some Roller Lash Mascara by Benefit and this is a brown mascara so it's very natural. And lastly I just applied some mascara and I'm using the Too Faced Better Than sex today. This mascara has been my favorite lately. I just love the wand. It's gorgeous and it really makes your lashes look super full and thick and very, very black. So this is the final eye look. Alright, so for lips, I noticed that a lot of the times the models do have on something pink and glossy. It's very light and natural, so I'm going to be using the Lip Sense by Sengence Long Lasting Liquid Lip Color. And you might have seen this on maybe Instagram or on Facebook. There's a lot of videos going around of people applying this and it not coming off and staying on all night long. I'm actually a distributor of Sengence, so if you guys were interested in trying this, please look down below in the description box and I have my ID number. I am a distributor and you guys can actually shop with me on their website. I will have all the information down below, but I will be doing a video on this really soon, a demo video of me using it and showing you guys how amazing it is because it stays on all day long. It does not come off. Eating, drinking, swimming, doing anything, it does not come off. So I'm going to use the shade Heartbreaker and this is a beautiful like pink color. So now I'm going to go over the lips and seal them completely for the rest of the day with the Lip Sense by Sengence Moisturizing Gloss. This is the glossy gloss. They have a matte gloss, but this one is super pretty and glossy. Okay, so now to ensure that our look doesn't budge for the rest of the day, I'm gonna use the UD All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I'm not sure if they use this during the fashion show. I'm pretty sure they had a makeup artist on hand pretty much the entire show, but if you're wanting to wear this look out, I would recommend using a setting spray. And the All Nighter is perfect if you're wearing all creams. This is gonna set everything in place the entire day, and this is probably my favorite setting spray to date. All right, so now for the hair, Beach Waver styled all of the model's hair, and I actually own a Beach Waver. I've had it for a while, so we're gonna use that today to style our hair. So I'm gonna go grab that, and we can move on to that. All right, so my hair pretty much has a mind of its own right now, so we're gonna, we're gonna fix this. You wanna spray your hair with something that's gonna protect it before you style it, so I'm using the Protect Me by Bella Me. And I'm just going to spray this all throughout my hair before we get to styling it. So basically you take a section of your hair and I am currently on the left side of my hair. This is the left portion and I click the left button. And what you want to do is you don't want to start up here. You want to start down here. You want to click L and you want to click go. And it's important that you leave a little bit of the hair out at the bottom because that's what gives it that beachy wave. It's kind of like the curl that you get with the beach waver. It's very beachy, it's not big curls at all. So now I'm on the right side. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna click right. This can get kind of confusing if you've never used a beach waver before, but after you've used it a couple times, it gets really easy to use. Now we're at the top portion of my hair and I am just curling like I have been. I kind of hold this for a couple seconds. I don't have it on the highest heat setting, so I do have to hold it a little bit longer than I would if it was really high, but I really don't want these curls to look too tight. So I didn't go with the highest setting. If you want your curls to be really, really tight, then I would recommend using the highest setting, which is 450. And now I'm back on the left side of my head. I'm curling my bangs and I'm just curling them like I curled the rest of my hair, leaving a little piece of them out like right here. I feel like this curler does make it a lot easier to curl your hair. I'm not really sure why, but it just seems like it's easier because it kind of does all the work for you. And I really like it. I actually want to use this more now. I really didn't use it like that much, but I do love the way the curl looks. It's very beachy. It's very relaxed. And I think it's really pretty for just like every day. 